Hello everyone, I'm Gina R. and I'm back with episode 4 of Christmas in July Penny Box. Well, I'm going to search rows 31 to 40 and hopefully we'll continue to find good stuff. So let me get started. Row number 31, and we have 16 wheat sets. The oldest being a 1941. Then we have a 1942, a 1944, a 1948 San Francisco, a 1950, two 1951 Denver's, a 1951 San Francisco, a 1954, a 1955, 1955 Denver, two of the 1956 Denvers, a 1957 Denver, two of the 1958 Denvers, and I also did have a very lustrous 1975 Denver. I'm on row number 32 and we have six wheat cents starting with two 1940s a 1955, a 1955 Denver, a 1957 Denver, and a 1958 Denver. I do have a foreign coin, a Canadian 1979. I also did find a 1905 Indian head penny, and I found two, three actually, San Francisco minted cents. A 1970S and two 1971Ss. I did find three very lustrous coins. Uh, two of the 1974 Denver, one of the 1986 Denver, and a very nice 2009 commemorative cents. Row number 33 and we have eight wheat cents. Starting with a 1944 Denver, a 1950 Denver, a 1952 Denver, a 1954 San Francisco, and three 1956 Denvers. I also found two of the 2009 commemoratives, and they're both Denvers. I did find four very lustrous scents, starting with a 1974 Denver, 1975 Denver, 1976 Denver, and a 1987. Row number 34, and we have 10 wheat cents. The oldest being a 1927. We have a 1940S, a 1944 Denver, a 1945, a 1950 Denver, a 1955 Denver, a 1956 Denver, and a 1957 Denver. We do have two foreign coins. One of them is from Helvetia. I hope I pronounced that right. And it's a 1970. There's a better look at it. There's the reverse. The other coin is a Canadian, and it's a 1973. I also did find two San Francisco minted cents, a 1972 and a 1975, and three very nice looking 1974 Denvers. Row number 55, and we have 13 wheat cents. We have a 1929, a 1944, 1944 Denver. A 1944 San Francisco, two 1950 Denvers, two 1955 Denvers, two 1956 Denvers, a 1958 Denver, and one that the date can't be fully read. I know it's a wheat scent because of the back, but I know it's a 19 something six. I can't make up that third number. Then, as far as foreign coins are concerned, I did find a King George 1952 one cent. I did find a commemorative 2009 Denver, and we had one San Francisco minted 1970. 
Well, row 36 didn't have many finds. I did find three wheat cents, a 1941 and two 1956. I also did find a Canadian cent, 1964, and one San Francisco minted, 1970. Row 37, and I found 12 wheat cents. The oldest being a 1915, followed by a 1940, a 1944S, a 1946, a 1946 San Francisco, a 1947 San Francisco, a 1951 Denver, a 1952 Denver, two 1955 Denvers, and two 1956 uh, Denvers. I also did find a Canadian one cent, and that was a 1957, and a silver Roosevelt dime, 1961. Row number 38, and we have 10 wheat cents. The oldest being a 1919, then a 1940, a 1943 San Francisco, which is also a steel cent. A 1944 San Francisco, a 1946, a 1953 Denver, a 1954 Denver, a 1955 Denver, 1956 Denver, and a 1957 Denver. Also found a Canadian cent, a 1987, and one San Francisco minted 1969. I'm back with row number 39, and we have 12 wheat cents. A 1917 is the oldest one in the row, followed by a 1944, a 1944 San Francisco, a 1945, a 1946 Denver, a 1950, two 1951 Ds, two 1955 Denvers, and two 1958 Denvers. Also, I did find one Canadian cent, a 1942, and that has King George on the obverse. In row number 40, I found 12 wheat cents, a 1919 Denver, a 1943 S steel cent. I found three 1944s, one 1944 San Francisco, a 1945, a 1950 Denver, two 1955 Denvers, two 1956 Denvers, and a 1958 Denver. I also did find two San Francisco minted cents, a 1971 and a 1973. Also, I did find one that was very lustrous, which is the 1960 Denver. Well, that's it for rows 31 through 40. Let's go ahead and quickly recap what I found in those rows. So let me start off with the wheat cents. I found 102 wheat cents, two steel cents, and a 1905 Indian head cent. I also found 10 San Francisco proofs. I found eight foreigns, seven which were Canadian and one Halvetia coin. I also found 12 that were very lustrous. I found two of the 2000, I mean, sorry, I found four of the 2009 commemorative scent. And we also found one Roosevelt dime 1961. Well, I want to thank you for watching. Keep an eye out for the next video, which would be part five of this series, which would be rows 41 through 50. So we're almost done with this box. I want to thank you for watching. And until next time, happy hunting, happy collecting. Bye, everyone.